Crowds will return to security checkpoints at airports as airfare costs expected to spike over the summer. Yes, and I caught up with travelers bracing for the sky high fares. The return of summer travel is approaching. I'm trying to go to Cancun. And this time, airfares will be noticeably higher. I'm just trying to find flights that fit within my budget, um, but just hopefully the prices don't continue going up because that's when I'll start to start traveling by cars at that point. Travelers at BWI airports say while the pandemic caused disruptions, many will still take to the skies despite an inflation-induced hit to their wallet. We did slow down some through the pandemic. Delta Airlines reports a spike in bookings with airfare costing 17% more this year. Yet travelers are not pulling back. No, not really. I mean, you only live once and sometimes it's worth it to spend a little extra to have good experiences. It's an apparent post-pandemic trend. Mobile traveling booking site Hopper is closely watching and shows fares will be particularly high for international trips, where fares are hitting 34 percent. It's like tricky to know like when the best time to book is and you know the, the worst is when like you you kind of have some dates planned but plans change at the last minute and all of a sudden like you know the, the price skyrockets like 100, 200 dollars and you're just like what do I do now? The Transportation Security Administration is tracking daily passenger screening levels and determined multiple days this year have already climbed above their 2019 pre-pandemic equivalent. Many travelers hinting, with the pandemic seemingly behind us, Americans are flying again. Actually, we're going to Disney um, on Sunday. And that's the thing. You don't know the perfect time to book a ticket because... No. Prices are high. Nothing you can do. Let's call it what it is. Some of these prices yeah. just ridiculous, outrageous right now. So. Even domestically. Yeah, it's yeah. tough.